while you were out partying, I was learning the way of the blade. While you were falling... No. Uh, sorry, unless you're into meme culture, that would mean nothing to you, but uh, I'm a partial fan of uh, uh, cringe culture. Anyway, in t hello! How are you doing? Uh, in this video tutorial, I will be teaching you how to paint TMM, so that's True Metallic Metal Swords. Almost forgot the word for swords. Uh, sported rather uh, beautifully by Saul Tarvit himself. So let's dive straight in, shall we? We need to consider the ambient surroundings. Uh, so imagine Saul Tarvit's blade. Uh, it would be quite pure in construction, so it will reflect a lot of its surroundings. Now for this, we need a hint of purple, uh, or amethyst alchemy, that will be a reflection of his armor. We need decayed metal, which is a reflection of the ground. We need emerald alchemy, which is a greenish uh, metallic color that reflects, uh, I guess, the, the, um, the sky. So I will start the process with a rather large brush, number two. Let's take the emerald to begin with. Now my brush stroke will sweep up. Let's move these out of the way. My brush stroke is sweeping up. I'll keep that consistent through the miniature. Uh, so we need highlight here. Let's add a nice long blade here. Okay, we need purple to reflect here and here. Uh, we need a pinch of silver here. Okay, let's get some decayed metal. Pop it under here. Here and here. And drag these together. Okay. And we need silver at the top here. Uh, okay, and I can blend these together before they fully settle. I could take my brush and just help feather them together. I can even work a little bit of ink in here actually to reinforce what we've just done. So, okay, pinch of purple. To reflect Salt Harlots' armor. Uh, the gully in the middle. Let's take some decayed metal. So it's a very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sketchy right now. It, 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 again, this is construction. We aren't worried about the actual um, finished product of the blade. Right now, so this is Abaddon Black. This needs to reinforce the shadow, so again, sweeping the brush upward to reinforce those shadows. Might be worth um, pausing the video, just taking a snap of the blade as it sits right now. Now let's start to blend this together. Let's take the silver, glaze it right the hell the way down. Okay. Glaze up the top. Again, take the silver and just glazing over the top. Okay, let's take some decayed metal, put a pinch of purple into it, glaze. 
Let's give it a connect these two. things up by taking pure silver and adding an edge highlight. And that's all I want to do with Saul Tavis's blade. Look at that beautiful SOB. So the principle still stands. Uh, using a good variety of both warm and cool metallics will give you a nice variance uh, to build up your blades with. Now this is only the first of the really useful video series when it comes to blades. There will be a whole new suite of episodes on both energized power weapons, true metallic, non-metallic, any kind of metallic that you can think of. And more importantly, Suggestions. If you would like to see a really useful video, a short clip just concentrating on the technique and the colour recipe, please let me know because it will be made and be chucked up on the Patreon. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next vid.